Welcome, my dear friend. I'm David Cortez, and this is my website www.david-cortez.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about the object oriented programming. So, let's start. Introduction to object oriented programming. Object oriented programming is a widely adopted paradigm in software development that organizes code around the concept of object. So, it's a paradigm in software development that organizes code around the concept of object. It offers a structured and modular approach to designing and building software systems. Object-oriented programming promotes the reuse of code, reuse of code, enhances maintainability, and encourages the modeling of real-world entities and their interaction. So, real-world entities. Fundamental concept of object-oriented programming class. A class is a blueprint or template for creating objects. So a class is a blueprint or template for creating objects. It defines the properties, attributes and behaviors methods that each object will have. Classes encapsulate data and functionality related to a specific entity or concept. Object. An object is an instance of a class. An object is an instance of a class. It represents a concrete real world entity with specific characteristics and behaviors defined by its class. Objects can interact with each other by invoking their methods. So, objects. Objects can interact with each other by invoking their methods. Encapsulation. Encapsulation is the concept of band bundling data attributes. So encapsulation is the concept of bundling data attributes and methods that operate on that data into a single unit like a class. It restricts uh, direct access to an object's internal state, allowing controlled access through methods. This protects the data from unintended modifications and ensures that the object state remains consistent. Inheritance Inheritance is a mechanism that allows a class, subclass or derived class to inherit the properties and behaviors of another class, superclass or base class. It promotes code reuse and establishes an easy relationship between classes. Subclasses can extend or override the inherited characteristics. So, inheritance is a mechanism that allows a class, subclass or derived class, to inherit the properties and behaviors of another class, subclass or base class. Polymorphism. Polymorphism allows objects of different classes to be treated as objects of a common superclass. It enables uh, flexibility in the way methods are called. Two common forms of polymorphism are compile time method overloading and runtime method overriding polymorphism. Benefits of object-oriented programming. Modularity. Code is organized into reusable and easily maintainable uh, modules, classes and objects. So, code is organized into reusable and easily maintainable modules, classes and objects. Modularity is the division of a software system into separate interchangeable modules, each responsible for specific functionality. This concept 
fosters maintainability and code organization. Object-oriented programming, encapsulation and information hiding principles contribute to modularity. Reusability, existing classes and their objects can be reused in new projects, reducing development time and effort. Reusability is the ability to use existing classes and objects in new contexts or projects. Object-oriented programming encourages the creation of generic reusable components. Libraries and frameworks are prime examples of reusable object-oriented programming code. Abstraction Abstract classes and interfaces provide a clear separation between the interface and implementation, allowing developers to focus on high-level design. Abstraction is the process of simplifying complex reality by modeling classes based on their essential characteristics while ignoring unnecessary details. Abstract classes and interfaces define the structure and uh, contract that uh, concrete classes must adhere to, promoting a clear separation of concerns. So, abstract classes and interfaces provide a clear separation between the interface and the implementation allowing developers to focus on high-level design. Extensibility New classes and objects can be added to extend existing functionality without affecting the existing code base. Extensibility is the ability to add new functionality or features to a software system without modifying existing code. Object-oriented programming supports this through inheritance, allowing developers to create new classes that inherit properties and behaviors from existing ones. Encapsulation Data hiding and controlled access improve data integrity and security. Polymorphism it allows for flexibility and adaptability in code design and execution. Implementing object-oriented programming in practice. To implement object-oriented programming in practice, you need to follow some steps. Identify and define the entities or concepts relevant to your problem domain. Create classes to model these entities, specifying attributes and methods. Instantiate objects from these classes to represent concrete instances. Use encapsulation to hide and protect the internal state of objects. Apply inheritance and polymorphism as needed to promote code reuse and flexibility. Use object-oriented programming designing patterns to address common software design problems. Object-oriented programming design patterns Object-oriented programming design patterns are reusable solutions to common software design problems. Some well-known design patterns are singleton pattern, factory pattern, observer pattern, strategy pattern, decorator pattern, and VC model view controller pattern. These patterns help maintain clean, organized and scalable code by providing tested and proven solutions to recurring challenges. Conclusion Object-oriented programming is a powerful and widely adopted paradigm that brings structure and organization to software development. So it brings structure and organization to software development. 
it promotes modularity, reusability and, and extensibility while enhancing code maintainability and scalability. Understanding the fundamental concepts of principle and principles of object-oriented programming and applying them effectively can significantly improve software design and development processes. So thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye!